Oh, what's the car? Wouldn't want to get a parking ticket. So much for helping me. Resident Evil 4 sure knows how to set the tone. The remake's intro sees Leon slowly advancing through creepy woods and rotting, ominous houses, culminating in the horrifying crescendo that is the infamous village attack. Here we go. But with that groundwork already laid, the separate ways TLC has no need for such a slow build-up, and smartly wastes very little time getting into high gear. In fact, though it only took me just over four hours to complete this side story's seven chapters, Separate Ways rarely wastes a moment of your time, and proves to be a highly entertaining roller coaster that includes some very satisfying new takes on ideas from its original 2005 inspiration. of our cool and competent covert operative runs basically parallel to that of Leon Kennedy's quest to find the president's daughter in a remote Spanish village. And while their paths often intersect in interesting ways, it's the objectives that Ada follows on behalf of a familiar shadowy figure, and some revelations that should surprise even those who know the original story inside and out, that make her adventure worth playing. Where the original included more than a few go help Leon before he dies a nasty death tasks. Leon, why am I not so the remake of Separate Ways feels more like a believable arc of Ada having to choose between tossing others a bone or leaving her emotions at the door, all while lending her own brand of assistance, but still looking for a way to use the situation to her advantage later. Looking for something? Ada's story in Separate Ways also has more room to breathe than it did in the 2005 version, with less focus on retelling Leon's story from a different angle and more about her growing reluctance to put her client before her allies. Then I suggest you hurry. Rather than having Ada largely follow Leon's familiar story paths and events as the original Separate Ways did, this particular version does an exemplary job of giving Ada her own adversaries to contend with in a variety of ways. Right from the get-go, Ada meets her own personal antagonist in the form of a relentless, black robe monstrosity that stalks her for a good portion of the story. Ada's fights stand out from what Leon has to deal with, even as you find yourself in familiar locations. There's a wonderful range of encounters, from zipping between rooftops to panicked escapes from unstoppable killing machines. Every encounter remains fast and fresh, repeat performances feel exceedingly rare, and every boss fight has a new surprise. You will revisit a lot of the same locations seen by Leon during separate ways, and while that may not sound exciting, Capcom makes smart use of familiar terrain by changing the context, often having you fight through enemies going a different direction than Leon did which provides new ambush points, enemy surprises, and new pathways to learn that weren't there before. I especially liked how some places that were mostly a lull in the action for Leon had different foes waiting for Ada this time around. However, Separate Ways isn't solely content to retread old ground, and some interesting choices are made on when to send Ada off into uncharted territory. Let's see if we can find another route to the church. These places might not be too wildly off the beaten path, but they do make for some entertaining moments, such as turning a corner and realizing you're actually right above an area that Leon will arrive soon after, letting you watch a familiar cutscene from a very different point of view. There were plenty of fun twists on seeing exactly what Ada and Luis were doing when one of them contacted Leon on the radio. I want to go home, but Ashley just had to see this castle first. Even though you can't exactly alter destiny and team up directly, it was always cool to hear Leon fighting off hordes of villagers nearby. We're hearing faint crying while scaling a church rooftop. I'm also extremely pleased to announce that if, like me, you were bummed about certain scenic spots from the 2005 version not appearing in RE4 Remake, you may greatly enjoy how Separate Ways manages to find unexpected ways to sprinkle recognizable sewers, gondola lift rides, and high-tech labs into Ada's path. Ada herself is no slouch, and benefits from all the same features that Leon enjoys in the RE4 Remake, in addition to some nifty new gadgets of her own. Her unique grapple gun allows her to zip kick straight into a stunned enemy as if she were a guest character in a Batman Arkham game, and I found this as useful as it was entertaining. The grapple gun also works to quickly platform across areas in a hurry, and though it only attaches to very specific spots, it gave me new ways to move around in many of the larger open areas in some creative ways. The Batman similarities don't stop there. 
When Ada isn't zipping across the rooftops like Leon Kennedy's version of The Dark Knight, she also employs her own detective vision mode with special contact lenses to solve a few puzzles. Unfortunately, none of this is anywhere near as flashy as the grapple gun, and more than once I was told to solve the thrilling mystery of follow these specific footprints along a very straightforward path. Hope he's down here. Part of me wishes there was more that could be done with the gadget, but I'm also glad these simpler puzzle ideas were used sparingly enough that didn't ruin the pacing. Aside from having to occasionally get her informant Louis Sarah out of trouble, what kind of a man leaves a lady Ada isn't constrained by the ebb and flow of RE4 Remake's main story. Separate Ways takes full advantage of not having to slowly haul a kidnapped president's daughter around by rarely dialing the action down. You can still chat up the mysterious merchant, take on a few of his requests, and upgrade Ada's unique shotgun and explosive bow. Don't get yourself killed now. There's also oodles of treasures to find by spotting chests and hanging objects, but I appreciate that Separate Ways doesn't try to slow its momentum too much by bringing over diversions like the shooting range minigames. Though Ada can still buy charms to gain passive bonuses, which is a great touch. While the story is destined to end in Leon's showdown with Sadler, I appreciate that Capcom didn't shy away from giving Ada a chance to shine on her own, culminating in a one-two punch of a satisfying solo boss fight, and a behind-the-scenes race to help Leon deliver the killing blow that matched the heart-pounding pace of Leon's eventual escape from the island. There's even some added context to Ada's ending that we don't see from Leon's point of view, and it's left me intrigued about what Capcom has in store for the inevitable Resident Evil 5 remake. Resident Evil 4 Separate Ways lifts up and reinvents Ada Wong's story much the same way that Resident Evil 4 Remake itself did for Leon Kennedy. The relatively short 4 hour runtime leaves very little room for the action packed adventure to make a misstep, and it never does. Levels are familiar, but feel new. Encounters and boss fights are reworked and fantastically varied. Ada's grapple gun ability feels right at home alongside the remake's new features, and surprises wait in store even for diehard Resident Evil fans who think they've seen everything. As modestly sized DLC expansions go, it's hard to ask for much more than this. For more on games with extra content, check out our review of Cyberpunk 2077's Phantom Liberty DLC, and our review of the teal mask for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. For everything else, stick with IGN.